Hi everyone, I'm Vicki. Welcome to my channel, The Eagle's Nest. And I'm back after a long time. I was having my floors done after a small flood, so things were kind of in an upheaval. I had to clean out my whole craft room. So I brought most of it back in, but I'm kind of comfortable with it the way it is without all my stuff on my desk. But I did start a project. It's some, this was a G. Kerr freebie. These little books. There were four of them. These are the four books. So I've taken one and I've already made it. I wanted to be a little bit prepared. And today we will just work on one, but I just wanted to show it to you. I had bought one kit called Dogs from Janie B. Journal. <laughs> but as I started making the journal, I needed another kit, so I bought like two more from a couple different people. I'll have to uh, put it in the description because I don't remember now. It's been a few weeks ago. So it's just a little book. Well, when I got the book folded up and I had this spine and I put the, uh, here's two of my signatures. Well, I wanted to just do one signature, but one was just too little. So then I decided, well, I'll go with two. And I'm, I don't know. I just got discombobulated after I had, I had done one that she made and then I, weeks went by and then I forgot. So this is how hers actually was done. She made pages like this. She, we glued together strips and accordion filed, folded them. And then you just I think glue one in on this side and then glue that one in and you glue in at the spine here so that you just have these kind of pages. So it filled up the spine, which <laughs> makes a lot of sense. But oh no, I had to do this. So I was gonna sew them. I was gonna make a hidden spine because I didn't want to have to cover that. So when I got it together, I was like, well, let me try stapling it. So this I stapled. But I don't like the way it looks. You know, it's like that. Right. So I think I'm going to attempt <laughs> this one with maybe sewing it in. So let me fold up. This was the book after I cut them out. I And then actually there was a, another freebie page where there were two of these and that made a cute little holder for the little books so you have to have all four I only wanted to make three in the beginning but to fill this I have to do four so this was another freebie like 175 or six or so I don't remember but you can look them up and find them on her if they're still free. After so many months, they go into her Etsy store, but they might still be available free. They're in the 170s. So I'm just gonna hope this turns out folded where it needs to be folded. That doesn't look quite right. There we go. I will fold that one. And this one, sometimes things don't fold quite right, so then we have to take to trimming. So, as you can see right there, but it's kind of even on this side, kind of, sort of, we can kind of manipulate it just a little bit. And then let's check this side. Um... It's a little bit off. Let's get that. See if that helps. Well, it might, might be okay. I mean, sometimes things aren't noticeable once you get them, you know. So let's ink that. Then we'll cover all the white. Okay, so uh, this is going to be her Easter, although I'll probably make a, another little Easter card for her. 
I thought she might like this. I mean, we never know. We think they might like something, and then they look at it and smile and say thank you. Then they take it in their room and just throw it in a drawer. We just don't know. She does like dogs. I think she'll appreciate this. Go ahead and ink the uh, edges of that. Okay. There we go. Now I've got to cut. I wanted something. I wanted like a cardstockish. So, of course, my pencil. Uh, nowhere to be found. I think I actually took it in the other room. Maybe I can use this. I've got to mark this. So we're going to put this here. And I want to mark, let's try right there. And hope for the best. Since it's the only piece I had laying here, we have to hope it works. Okay. As always, be very careful with your guillotines. All the way up. Now we want to make sure this edge is straight. I can't really see the uh, my mark that well. Got a hold of it. Uh, let's just, it looks a little wide to me. Oh, it's just a little wide. So let's see, I just need to ooh, shave a piece off. Here we go, shaving. Get that up there. I want to put it down here where I can see it. Come on, baby, come on. Oh, let's hope this one does it. Yeah, that's good. I can probably use my scissors to cut the length. I mean, it doesn't have to be all the way to the top, honestly. Um, okay, let me just do a little... I just don't want it hanging over. Perfect. Okay, now we will ink this. Well, not much was seen on that one once I glued it in, but you never know what's going to be seen, so I like to ink well. So that will be glued in after I sew. So, I'm going to take these Hmm. These are going to be sewn onto here. This is, oh, I do need a pencil for that. Oh, and I do not have, um, pause, so I'm going to have to run for a pencil. Be right back. It was further away than I thought I was going to have to use that pen. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mark. I wonder if I should do just a two hole. I don't know. I've never done it before, so I'm going to do the three. I'm going to put one here and one here. And then I'm going to go to like halfway-ish. Put one here, one here. One here and one here. That's where I'm going to sew it right straight through there, I think. Of course, I didn't grab my uh, thread. That was in my closet. Luckily, I knew right where it was. I was trying to be prepared for this, too. I'm going to use the waxed thread. And I think I'm going to use this color. Nope, I'm using this one. 
Just get everything out. I may need that. I don't know. I may be able to just stick it through with a needle. Let's take a needle. Whoops, I hope my head wasn't in there. These are sharp. Some of them are very blunt. <laughs> Not mine. Um, I want a small one because of it being so tiny. Oh, I sure hope I can get the uh, thread in here. Let's see. Let's do this first before I do anything. Oh, yes. Okay. So, we're going to put these away so they don't roll off on the floor and then become missing. Okay. We're going to do one, two, three. The same technique three times the length. Okay, so let me see how I'm going to do this. Never done this before. Never done a little tiny. That needs to be inked desperately. I think this might have been added. I was switching pages around trying to find to make sure nothing was a repeat or a duplicate and oh. Uh, didn't want the same dog, you know. <laughs> to divide up my dogs. One of the kids had retrievers and labs, so the other one had like hunting dogs. The first one was English. British. Well, I see quite a few in this book that didn't get inked. Oh man, I picked the wrong one, didn't I? Oh, my granddaughter was here. She wanted to ink for me. That one got inked. I'm just going to ink this. And I'm going to ink the pages later. Right, well, there's nothing worse than watching someone ink. I'm going as quick as I can. Because I'm a that once I do the book, I won't be able to do it well. Okay. Um, I want to just alternate the colors. Dark, light, dark, light. Okay, now in this particular one, I've got this one short page. I think I'm going to put a paper clip just to hold it. Okay, uh, so I'm not going to mark the book. I don't think I need to. I think it can be eyeballed. Famous last words, huh? So we know we start in the middle. So I'm going to kind of fold it, and I'm going to stick this through here and hope for the best. Boy, do I wish I had a thimble. Hmm. Huh. Cover up the ink. I need something to push it through. Well, let's just go ahead and there we go. Well, shoot. I really did need to mark this. Let's do it like this. Whoa. Whoops. Well, guess what? We only we want this right in the middle. So let's put one here, one here, and one here. So now I gotta do that again. It probably won't be seen, so don't worry about it. So you do have to actually mark them. So, this is the front one, so this is going in this hole. That was easy enough, right? So, pull it through, leave a tail. Come on, there we go. You get back down there where you belong. I hope that didn't spin around to the wrong way. 
Let me try to keep it in frame. Okay, that can go. That doesn't. Okay, right up there. Or was it this way, you see? Nope, it's going this way. Okay, I'm gonna hold it there. And I've got to come in. Oh, oh, should have marked on this side, shouldn't I have? Well, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put this um, to this hole, right to there, and punch right through there. And hope I don't hurt myself. Okay, and I'm gonna punch a hole down here while I'm at it. Um, that one, that one, and, well, I'll do it when I get there because I don't know for sure. Let's go through here. Come on, come on, that's why I chose a small one. Okay. Now we're gonna go down to this one. Actually, let's tighten it up. And it's gonna go right there, I think, yeah. Let me mark it with my pencil because I've got you. There we go. There we go, there we go. Now we've got to come back up through here and I don't want to split the thread with the uh, sharper needle, it's more likely to. Who knows what happened there. Let's just get this on there. And pull this through here. I have a feeling I split that thread. But I don't know. Hmm. Huh. Are they even close enough? So there we go, not too bad. Okay, make them snug. I don't want that to be too, okay. That looks good. So we're gonna just put the knot right here. Right over left. And left over right. Come on. And I think two is good for this. Being that it's wax, you can just take and smash that down. Oh boy, that was, uh, so, <laughs> we've got it on there, yay. Are we in the clear? No. So, now let's take this one. Um, I see this didn't get inked either. Let's just quickly, Ink the inside anyway. Don't want to do something I'll regret. Is it the only one that got missed? No. This was one I had to reshuffle, I think. So we can just quickly. Hmm, so, I'm just trying to get back on track after having not been able to do a video for so long. And they still haven't finished. They allegedly delivered a check by FedEx two weeks ago, I think. 
but it wasn't here. I'm like, uh, I don't have a check. So they had to reissue it from the insurance to the company that was doing it. So I think they stop work until they get a check. Although they're almost finished. Okay, let's put a... something I think it was the pool guy I hope okay so number one make sure that you're we're, we're both in the up position now I've got to let's do it this way pencil let's mark our holes on here hold it here we'll mark one there one there and I'm going to put this one up here because I want it close to that one. This might not even be, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. Who's going to notice? Oh, look, your holes are uneven. Oh, okay. So I'm going to punch here and hope for the best. Hope that they line up when I go to sew it in there. Okay, let's get our thread. One two, three. Oop. I want a clean cut because I want it to go through here. Sometimes these eyes are really small. Phew. Okay. Now we shall go through here. Make sure we're still up. Why isn't that? Oh, there we go. And so if I go here, that, that should line up. <laughs> now that I'm gone, somehow it's going there. Okay, that was easy. Okay, we got that one. Now we're gonna go, well, let me make sure Yep, that looks pretty close. And into here. Well, what I did after I set my desk back up, I put my, uh, uh, the phone holder videoing thing on this side instead of over there, just to see if I like it. I don't know if I do or not. I was trying to avoid shadows and stuff. Uh, come on, baby, go in there. I don't know. Did I not punch holes? Well, there's a hole right there. They just didn't want to go in. I'm sure it was some kind of a user error. Okay, come on. You go there. What am I doing? Um, I didn't go in there. Oh boy. <laughs> Not a problem. Not a problem. We just unthread and we go in here. I'm just not sure what I'm doing here. Okay, I went into here. Wait, that's, I see what I'm doing. I get it now, I think. I had to go through here first and then there. Okay, okay. It's just been a while since I've ah, sewn in a signature. Um, okay. Now, down to this one. We're going to go through here. Uh, are we or aren't we? We say we are. And then, then where? Through here. One way or another, that's where we're going. You know, who's gonna know? 
like my granddaughter's gonna watch this video. She won't know what went on. Okay. Hopefully, all is well. Okay. Whoops, I'm gonna need something to put this through. Nope, only one of you. Okay. Now I want to make them even. So I never know which one to pull, of course. Let's see. Uh, see, that's where the threads were split. But if that's the only place, then, then that's a win-win. Come on. Back under here. Whoops. One of you has to come. Now, I want to pull which one? That one. Um, good enough. Now let's check it out. Not bad, not bad. But, where's my glue? Oh boy. Huh, <laughs> the glue I was gonna use to glue this in is not here. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, it was laying on its side. Oh no, it could be a disaster. Could be a disaster. Okay, so now we've got that done. So that one's face up, as is that one. But you can see they're not very even. Oh, huh. so this is what you do. Um, I'm thinking of taking a pair of scissors and just trimming right across there. Let's see. So when it goes in the book, you need to go down there, buddy. Okay. You're not gonna notice that. Okay, that's gonna be the least of your concern. Okay, we're gonna pull these down. Oh, and just hope they don't get in the way. I'm hoping that once we get this decorated, you can even decorate it in a way to hide that. Hide what? Nothing. Okay, so this I'm gonna glue in, but <clears throat> now I'm looking at this. So what we need to do is trim that off. Like a lot. Oh. So what I'm going to do is find my ruler. And I hope this was my good blade. And we're going to trim that. I don't know who made this mess in here. Okay. Okay. But once my desk was cleaned off and I started bringing stuff back in, it was so nice not having stuff all over it. So I'm gonna try to redo the way things are in here. Cause I would kind of like to bring my sewing machine in. I have an L-shaped desk. So on my right, I've got a lot of space over there. I could set up my sewing machine. Ah. Then I could do sewing on my projects. Okay. That looks a little weird. Let's see if you can see it in here. Yes, you can. <laughs> Loud and clear. So I'm just gonna do this. Did I get it all? I think I did. Um, hmm. Oh. I feel like there's too much up here. You stay out of the way because we don't want something bad to happen to you. Okay, let's put this down like so. Wait a minute. Okay, let's put a, a 
uh, paper clip. And let's see what we can do here. I wanted to make sure it's in the proper position because that could be the problem. But the problem was up here. Okay, by the time I get finished, we might have a little tiny <laughs> unrecognizable signature. Okay, I think this will be perfect. Yes. Retract your blade. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue that in here and then we have a hidden spine. Let's make sure that this isn't gonna be sticking out somehow. Somehow, some way, this looks crooked. Let's see, if I glued it in just like so. Here we go, something's not right. I'm going to cut some of this off. I don't know how. I'm going to use scissors because it doesn't seem right. There. Now let's see what it seems like. Okay, it looks pretty good now. Okay, there you go. Easy peasy. Now, check now to see what you want for the front. There kind of the same, so. Uh, oh, oh. Oh. Because this was laying on its side is why it's like that. Ah, I was gonna bubble up the top because it's less than half full. Saw that on a video. Someone's husband explained it to her scientifically about the glue and the bubbling and... Okay, so I'm putting that in here, like so. Looks good. I wanna make sure it's down. And I want it to be even. So, I wanna press against it, whoops. Like so. Ah, I don't know how else to do this. I'm sure it's gonna take pretty quickly. And it looks even, fairly. So I think I may sew the rest of those signatures in. After I dry this, I'll make a decision. Oh, my glue, my glue. Need a piece of paper. Here's a, an old napkin. fall back down. Uh, so what I had heard was if your bottle gets below half, it erupts. But if you keep it more full, it doesn't do that. And I, I feel like it's true. I think it's true. So this is what I have. I want that to dry a little more before I start really showing you. I'll show you some of my ephemera when I find my lid. I did hear, uh, I have to look at my drawer really quick. I did hear someone saying uh, that you could use these knitting, knitting needle caps on your things. Your um, Sugar Bell icing bottles. So, luckily I had a four pack. Okay, because this one I had, I want to say it might have gone to this before I, I mean, when you first open it, but I don't remember for sure. But I was using that because it fit. But I don't think it sealed it very well. Uh-oh, someone didn't put this away. 
Someone could have been scraping up some paper and uh, had a little needle stuck. Okay, so what I have for ephemera that I am going to do in another video. I'm just going to let that dry a second while I show you a few things. These are little pocket things to glue in for pockets. And they have, I made gussets on them because they're so small. I wanted to make sure my ephemera was gonna fit nicely. Isn't that cute? That, this will be shown in, I'm gonna decorate one in the next video. I didn't wanna make this one too, too long. And so I have little pockets, other pockets, um, some tags, some different things that I stole off of the internet. Um, not everything was from a kit. Just saying. Okay, I think this is probably dry enough. We can kind of look at it. Okay, this doesn't look too badly. If you don't like the way that looks, you can put a piece of washi tape. I may do that, I don't know. I don't know until it actually is very dry, then I'll decide what I'm gonna do. So, well, it really doesn't look too much different than the staples, does it? So stapling is not horrible. Stapling was actually easier. I don't know, I might like the way these lay better. I just don't know. I'm not used to stapling, so I, you know, I don't know, I think this lays better than how this laid. See, these are not, it's kind of, you know, these. So I'm gonna sew, I'm gonna go with the sewing. I will leave these long. There's no way I'm gonna put a bunch of dangles on these. So I, you yeah, know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I may put like one total, I don't know. So there you go, G car. It was in the 170s, one of her freebies, and the uh, the book holder. This I actually printed on the other side. Had to find that paper, too. So you get all four of them and put them in there, and it's just, isn't that cute? I thought it was adorable. So, there you go. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day.